वेलकम एवरीवन ये पॉडकास्ट आज बहुत ही स्पेशल है और उन सब लेडीज के लिए है जो हार्मोन्स को समझना चाहती हैं या हार्मोनल इश्यूज फेस कर रही हैं और हम बहुत ही डीप जाने वाले हैं इस टॉपिक पर बिकॉज वी हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट एंड शी इज अ हार्मोन एक्सपर्ट निधि सो वेलकम निधि एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेजर टू हैव यू इन आर पॉडकास्ट thank you thank you ma for inviting me it's my pleasure uh, that i am here with you together awesome so nidhi jab bhi weight loss nahi hota hum sab apne hormones ko blame karna shuru kar dete hain right so uh, let's start with the basics ki hormone hota kya hai and how they are important for our physical and mental health राइट सो सबसे पहले हम समझ लेते हैं जब भी हम वेट लॉस की बात करते हैं सबसे पहले एक वर्ड आता है व्हिच इज मेटाबॉलिक रेट व्हाट इज मेटाबॉलिक रेट एट यू नो द रेट एट व्हिच योर बॉडी कैन डाइजेस्ट फूड एंड कन्वर्ट इट इनटू एनर्जी और इसमें हार्मोन्स एक बहुत की रोल प्ले करते हैं और ये हार्मोन सब यहाँ से कंट्रोल होते हैं हेयर इज योर हाइपोथेनमस विच इज लाइक अ कंट्रोल रूम सो वी नीड टू इमेजिन इट एज इंडियन रेलवे होता है ना हमारा इंडियन रेलवे में एक कंट्रोल रूम होता है जिससे सब कंट्रोल होता है कि इस स्टेशन पे ये गाड़ी आएगी अभी अली गाड़ी जाएगी उस प्लेटफॉर्म पर वो वाली गाड़ी आएगी दो मिनट में वो वो लीव करेगी वो वाली गाड़ी आएगी एंड yes. इसी तरीके से ये यहाँ पर बैठा हुआ हमारा हाइपोथेलमस इस सब चीज को कंट्रोल करता है तो हमारे जो इंडियन ट्रेडिशन में इसको थर्ड आई भी बोलते हैं यू नो एवरी टाइम द फोकस इज हेयर ऑन द थर्ड आई तो शायद हमारे जो एंसेस्टर्स थे उन्होंने बहुत पहले रियलाइज कर लिया था द पावर ऑफ हाइपोथेलमस तो हर चीज यहीं से कंट्रोल होती है तो जब जब आप वेट लॉस करना चाहते हैं तो आप चाहते हैं कि आपके हार्मोन्स बिल्कुल सिंक में काम करें आपका मेटाबॉलिक रेट को सपोर्ट करें ऊपर लेकर जाए जिससे आप जल्दी से खाना खाएं और जल्दी से डाइजेस्ट हो एनर्जी में कन्वर्ट हो बॉडी में फैट डिपॉजिट ना हो तो इसके लिए बहुत जरूरत है इसके लिए बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है कि आपके हारमोन्स बॉडी में अच्छे से काम करें और सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट और मेजर हारमोन है इंसुलिन हारमोन जो बेस है सारे हारमोन्स का और वेट लॉस में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है इंसुलिन उसके बाद सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट हार्मोन है कॉर्टिसोल हार्मोन जिसे हम सब जानते हैं स्ट्रेस हार्मोन होता है हमारे किडनी के ऊपर एड्रिनल ग्लैंड होते हैं और वहां से प्रोड्यूस होता है तो सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट हार्मोन द थर्ड वन इज थारॉइड हार्मोन हमें सबको पता है कि जैसे ही बॉडी में बैलेंस इधर उधर होता है वेट ज्यादा होना शुरू हो जाता है या कम होना शुरू हो जाता है इट इज ऑलवेज यू थारॉइड हारमोन विच आर सिग्नल फ्रॉम योर हाइपोथेलमस प्रोड्यूस बाई योर फिटी ग्लैंड एंड वो हारमोन्स आपके लिवर में जाते हैं किडनी में जाते हैं और उसके बाद मेटाबोलाइज होके आपके सेल्स तक पहुंचते हैं तो जिन लोगों के हारमोन्स थारॉइड हारमोन्स अच्छे से काम नहीं कर रहे होते हैं उनको अचानक से फटीक महसूस होती है कभी एनर्जी लेवल डाउन हो जाता है कभी अप हो जाता है एंड द फोर्थ हारमोन्स वी ऑल नो इज सेक्स हारमोन्स जितने भी हमारे एस्ट्रोजिन प्रोजेस्ट्रॉन्स एल एच एंड यू नो पॉलिकल सिमुलेटिंग हारमोन्स जितने भी ये सारे हारमोन्स होते हैं दीज आर दोर्थ कैटेगरी ऑफ हारमोन्स एंड आर वेरी सुपर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर वेमेन यस यस वाओ निधि आपने बहुत ही ब्यूटीफुली समझाया कि कैसे जो है पोस्ट ऑफिस से डिलीवरी होती है आपकी <laughs> आपके घर तक पहुंचते हैं तो इनका yeah, सिंक होना yeah. बहुत जरूरी है सो वेरी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल ऐसे ही हमारे हारमोन्स का सिंक होना बहुत जरूरी है गाइज या तो ये बेसिक है हमारे हार्मोन्स का तो निधि अब आप ये बताइए कि बहुत सारी विमेन जो है स्ट्रगल करती हैं हार्मोनल इम्बैलेंस के साथ एंड देन दे फेस सिम्टम्स जैसे इरेगुलर पीरियड्स हैं मूड स्विंग है फटीक है और ये ये बहुत ही ज्यादा बढ़ रहा है ये इश्यूज आजकल राइट सो कैन यू थ्रो सम लाइट ऑन दैट कि क्यों ये इम्बैलेंस हो रहा है क्यों वो हमारे हारमोन्स जो है वो सिंक में नहीं आ रहे हैं इधर उधर घूम रहे हैं सो एंड वट कैन बी डन फॉर दैट so first we need to understand unlike men women hormones are like a fine tuned orchestra kaise estrogen upar jata hai kaise progesterone upar jata hai kaise both the hormones are going down towards your uh, you know before your periods and then uh, you start menstruating and then you get your periods so yeah. all this is a very fine tuned or- orchestra unlike men they don't have these kind of cycles they don't have these similar issues so aapko ye samajhna hai ki as a women aapki body bahut sensitive hai तो yes. कहीं भी इधर से उधर जरा सा भी होता है तो ये पूरा ऑर्केस्ट्रा हिल जाता है और आपको ये रेगुलर पीरियड्स होते हैं एग रिलीज नहीं होता हो ब्रीज से और लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर इश्यूज यू फॉल इन टू लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर सिम्टम्स एंड इश्यूज तो हमें ये समझना है वेमेन बॉडीज आर सुपर सेंसिटिव वी नीड टू टेक बेटर केयर ऑफ आर सेल्स 
So this yeah. is the first thing. You cannot compare your body with the other your male partner yeah, or other people around you. Yeah. You are very sensitive. You have to be much more mindful about how you do things in life. So that is the first key which uh, we need to take. Mm. The mm. other thing is, as I already explained, the bigger hormone here is insulin. Yeah. So, जैसे ही हमारा इंसुलिन हार्मोन एक तरफ से ऐसा बढ़ना शुरू होता है ये बाकी जितने भी हार्मोन्स का इट्स अ वेरी क्लोज वेब ऑफ यू नो कनेक्शन बिटवीन दीज हार्मोन्स तो एक जैसे ही बढ़ना शुरू होता है बाकी सारी हार्मोन्स को डिस्टर्ब कर देता है तो वॉट वी नीड टू फोकस हेयर इज दैट हाउ वी कैन कंट्रोल आर इंसुलिन हाउ वी कैन एंश्योर दैट आर इंसुलिन इज विद इन विद इन द रेंज एंड वंस योर इंसुलिन एज अ फाउंडेशन हार्मोन इज विद इन द रेंज most of the time all your other sex hormones will fall into place and will not create any havoc inside your body so first focus on insulin and we all know how we can do this by eating right by moving enough by sleeping well so insulin hormone is the key then we move to the uh, another hormone which is a stress hormone cortisol we all know cortisol is almost uh, it uh, it takes your body into fight and flight mode and as soon as your body is in that mode what will happen without even eating your body will produce glucose and spike your glucose levels within your body so it is something like you're not eating still you can have type 2 diabetes still you can put on weight and just because the level of cortisol hormone is much higher i think especially in today's generation this thing we need to understand the kind of life which our parents have lived we are not living that life Absolutely. we are living a much more stressful life right. so women here are full taking full responsibility at home they try to cook fresh food for their kids fresh food for their husband all that apart from that they are also going to office they are working that itself you know these are like two full time jobs and uh, doing it all alone the stress levels are like uh, you know sky it's uh, stress levels are touching the sky no one knows about it like your mother cannot help you your uh, parents cannot help you because they have never experienced such a stress so in today's world acknowledging that the stress is real you are feeling a burnt out you probably need to take rest focus on your own energy see what you best you can do and you know offload as and when required is the key so acknowledging the stress in today's world is very 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 important and also it has been uh, shown that you know your high cortisol level is one of the uh, biggest reason for the hormonal imbalances yes be it yes. your thyroid your insulin resistance your autoimmune disorder sab kya root cause aa jata hai stress ki stress ko kaise aap jo hai handle kar rahe ho dusri baat ye hai ki people are not sleeping well so pura wo routine circadian rhythm has changed So we right. used to initially wake up at six o'clock. We used to close our work by five six, and that is what my father did. He used to yeah, work in yeah. our, you know, a bank. He used to close his work by five six, come back home, mm-hmm. have yeah. dinner, and go to bed. So that was the uh, routine he followed throughout his life. Right. On the other hand, these days people are working till like eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock at night. Round the Then clock. Then they are going to round the clock. <laughs> Then they are going to bed. They are unable to sleep well because there is a lot of disturbance. right and the screen time is like huge 8 to 9 hours of screen time and all this is further impacting your sleep impacting your recovery and that's why this whole cycle of hormone because everything is controlled from here here it is this hypothalamus is just sitting here if there is a lot of disturbance here the hypothalamus just get into a phase where it doesn't know what to do and all hormones get disturbed so there are a lot of women especially the pcod patients who reach out to me and ask like hey i am this and young girls you know young girls who are yeah. 18 years old 16 years old and i'm like i'm going through this irregular periods i'm not fat but still i have irregular periods and usually i ask them at what time are you going to bed mm. they were like like 11 and then i sleep by 1 and then i wake mm. up by 10 and i was like this is the first thing this is one thing if you want to fix your periods without doing much in your life the first thing you need to change is to start sleeping early at 9 to 10 and then wake up early try to get some morning sun this is a you know a zero cost thing which can uh, help you in uh, regulating your hormones absolutely absolutely
Similarly, uh, Nidhi, you know, I remember a patient who came, you know, with the severe mood swing and constant fatigue, you know, and she's just declaring herself into depression and fibromyalgia. I have got this, I've got, we have huge list, you know, as the technology is improving, the list of diseases also improving. And we just, you know, catch on to the one word. Achha, mujhe fibromyalgia ho gaya hai, mujhe depression ho gaya hai, as if it's an achievement. But then, you know, when we dig into their routine, I found that she barely, you know, get four hours of sleep. That's Ab, so, so so right. right. Because everyone is looking for a pill. So I think taking pill is very easy and uh, making lifestyle modification is challenging. And mm -hmm. that's why people uh, reach out to doctors first. Yeah. Very, very in insightful, Nidhi, ki sleep jo hai, humare pure system ko hila sakti hai, aur pure system ko bana sakti hai. Totally. It's totally. A it, it, it is a powerful pill. <laughs> right, totally. It it's, a it's a powerful pill. It is free. You can easily do that. You don't need anything for this. Right. Very, very well said. Yeah. Yeah. So now let's, let's touch on a very sensitive and important topic, you know, of fertility. You know, so fertility issues due to hormonal imbalances are also on the rise. You know, I recently worked with a couple struggling with fertility issues. And after several tests, you know, we discovered that hormonal balance is the root, you know, which is causing the problems. So, you know, it's very crucial to understand this So, can you shed light on that? How can we maintain our fertility maintain or improve? Right. So, if uh, fertility improve karne hai, first uh, we need to ensure that the cycle is regular, hmm. that the egg is getting fertile, it is coming to the uterus, uh, hmm. you, you are doing intercourse on the right dates and so that uh, the, you know, the egg can be fertile. Yeah. So, to ensure that the cycle is happening, you really need to have enough amount of estrogen and progesterone in, in your system because these are sex hormones. Yeah. Apart from that, uh, obviously your stress should be less, you should be in the right mindset where you can conceive. So a lot of things, uh, uh, I, I can probably talk about lifestyle, not the medical side of it, but yeah. uh, as, as, as we understand, mobility has a bigger role to play here. People mm. are not moving enough. So uh, having a good uh, morning routine where, where they are going out and having some kind of sunlight on their skin, on, in, in their eyes, all this is going to help. Apart from this, we know how certain deficiencies are there in us, like vitamin D, we all are aware, B12, we all are aware, magnesium yeah. is there, iron is there. Taking care of these deficiencies up front will help you to be more fertile. So what we need to ensure that we are moving enough. Uh, people have to move enough. They really need to work on their stem. Now, most of the time, you know, women are, uh, when they are trying to conceive, they were like, oh, if I move, my body will not be ready for uh, fertility. No, I, I just want to take rest because I am, you know, trying to conceive. But that's mm -hmm. a very bad, uh, you know, that's a very wrong notion. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to understand the egg is like this much inside your body. By mm -hmm. moving uh, or by doing something, your that, that your fertility will not get disturbed. Rather, when you move enough, you get better oxygen inside your body. So better circulation of oxygen inside your body. And what will happen with that? Your body will be much more or in a better shape to conceive. So mm -hmm. moving enough, taking care of your deficiencies is super, super important. Yeah. And I cannot stress more on insulin and cortisol. These are the foundation hormones followed by your thyroid because we always see women who are unable to conceive are having are struggling with thyroid hormones whether it's less or more thyroid hormone has a role to play and then yeah. comes your sex hormone so it's the kind of pyramid which we need to focus hmm. I, I i and the other thing i want to touch and it is very important people ask me uh, which spice should i add in the morning in the glass so that i can get i can conceive can I have that Baba Ji Ka Churan? Can I have that uh, Ayurvedic Masala? Can I have this? Can I have that? You need to understand, right? Your body is, the, your body should be in a good shape to conceive, right? Yeah. It is like a yeah. building. Where if the building is broken from inside, you can keep doing some paint. It might work for one day or two days, but later it will not work. So most of the time, women who are suffering from irregular periods are like, 
you know nidhi initially i was eating that masala in the morning with the water it was working now it is not working because uh, that masala or whatever spice has just changed the ph of your digestion little bit here and there rectified something and yeah. you got your but the foundations uh, which is like movement your nutrition and uh, your 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 insulin levels if you are not working on them you know it is very hard it is very hard to sustain yeah yeah you know uh, one incident happened uh, nidhi one of uh, uh, the lady came in our uh, program and she wanted to lose weight and uh, what happens after one month she is messaging that i conceived <laughs> now i said now your goal has changed so right so totally. you're losing weight you need to you know focus on eating right right and doing the right things yeah so i am so, just saying i'm sure because of your program uh, she has taken that program and eating healthy absolutely moving well enough uh, has helped her in conceiving which probably she was doing uh, before and was not working absolutely yeah so that is why you know i added this that it is so important to work on our lifestyle rather than all those churan and baba ji's and this and that agar utna time okay. aap udhar jaane mein karne mein agar aap apne upar wo time invest karoge apne healthy eating pe wo money or energy invest karoge you will get better returns oh yeah i am yeah. sure but people have this thing of like some churan some dawai homeopathic ka dawai kha li 3 mahina ye ho gaya and they they just so they need to understand the foundation if it if is lifestyle then you can add little bit here and there but uh, yeah if yeah the foundation is not strong you know yes to, absolutely to help you absolutely the basic need to be strong foundation need to very very well said uh, nidhi wow what a amazing uh, you know information so now the final thing i want to bring in as women go through different stages of their life you know you have already mentioned that you know men don't go but women go through lot of things so uh, there are different stages like perimenopause you know menopause so uh, just if you can uh, you know uh, share some of your nuggets uh, on that because you know uh, i've got, i i had a conversation last week with a lady who was going through a lot of uh, issues like hot flashes mood swing and they were really taking a toll on her life so is is situation may is conditions may when you know women go through this i mean i know as indian women you know we are always suppressing this and this is considered very negative menopause right. ke bare mein koi baat nahi karna chahta you know it is that hidden thing so right. ladies be na lightly andar hi andar they go through the pain and they don't want to share it yes yeah so aap wo ga yes so let me touch upon let me first tell what is menopause menopause is a time when you don't get your period continuously for 12 months hmm. and that is declared as menopause but hmm. before menopause there is a time of 6 to 7 years where hmm. women experience severe hormonal changes mm -hmm. and what will happen before so your ovaries are getting retired so after mm -hmm. 35 40 we know that we born with certain number of eggs and mm -hmm. as we age those eggs are going down and the uh, you know the estrogen levels so your ovaries ovaries produce estrogen and which is a very important uh, female hormone yeah so the, those uh, level of estrogen is going down so before uh, stopping before a proper stop at menopause this uh, window of 6 7 years there is a like lot of fluctuation of estrogen at times it is like super high at times it is super low and yeah. because of that women experience severe symptoms but we need to understand though estrogen is a reproductive hormone it has receptor throughout your body so it has receptor in your mind it has receptors in your joint it has receptors you know in in your cells your hair so during this time women experience hot flashes wo raat mein na sote sote achanak se garmi lagti hai paseena aa jata hai neend khul jati hai aur uske baad sona mushkil ho jata hai right so this is this is one of the major signs dusri cheez hai ki uh, energy levels down hote hain bahut zyada mood swings hota hai lagta hai na ki body pehle jaisi rahi nahi hai kuch ho gaya hai achanak se body mein yeah, i don't have yeah. the same energy and, and uh, power indian women especially experience karti hain bahut zyada knee pain so their joints are getting weak during this phase women uh, lose a lot of bone density and develop osteoporosis so hmm. this is the time for women to take care of themselves Yeah. this whole phase jahan par aap bahut sare symptoms face kar rahe ho it is also a time 
जहां पर आपके हार्ट के ऊपर बहुत ज्यादा वेयर एंड टेयर होता है तो अगर इफ यू आर समन हु इज एक्सपीरियंस सीवियर सिम्टम्स ऑफ पेरीमेनोपॉज यू आर मोर लाइकली टू डेवलप कार्डियोवस्कुलर डिजीज पोस्ट मेनोपॉज सो वॉट यू नीड टू डू दिस दिस फेज एक तो आपको सिम्टम दे दे के आपको इधर परेशान कर रहा है और जितना आप इस कर रहे हो आपको बाद में बीमारियों होने के चांस में उतने ही बढ़ रहे हैं तो वॉट वी यू नीड टू डू दिस इज अ टाइम एट एज सुन एज यू कम टू लाइक थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी दिस इज अ टाइम टू ब्रिंग फोकस ऑन योर सेल्फ यू हैव डन इनफ फॉर योर फैमिली योर किड्स द किड्स आर गेटिंग यू नो बिगर दे आर गोइंग टू कॉल इट एन अदर प्लेसेज what you need to do bring focus on yourself prioritize as i said insulin first uh, fix your insulin women who are diabetic and having uh, irregular insulin are more likely to experience higher symptoms of perimenopause mm-hmm. so agar aapke basics sorted nahi agar aap acha nahi kha rahe ho so nahi rahe ho dhang se uh, exercise nahi karte ho aapke insulin hormone thyroid hormone se balance mein nahi hai to aapko bahut zyada symptoms experience karne padenge ये सिम्टम्स सिर्फ थोड़े टाइम के लिए नहीं है इसी बीच में इन सब हार्मोन्स की वजह से ऑस्टोप्रोसिस डेवलप हो सकता है हार्ट डिजीज डेवलप हो सकते हैं आपके माइंड माइंड की कैपेसिटी वी नो दैट देयर आर चांसेस ऑफ मेमोरी लॉस मूविंग फॉरवर्ड एज के साथ मेमोरी लॉस भी होता है तो वो सारे आपके ना इस समय आपकी बॉडी में बहुत ज्यादा वेयर एंड टेयर हो रहा है तो इसको रिड्यूस करने के लिए आपको बहुत सबसे पहले आप ये सारा फोकस अपने ऊपर लेकर आके and fix your lifestyle first mm-hmm. then look for your deficiencies magnesium ka deficiency bahut logo ko hota hai is samay iron zinc ye sare deficiencies check karne hai omega 3 fatty acids those kind of things things which can help you in enhancing your performance your metabolic rate things those things you need to improve in your life otherwise अगेन नॉट लाइक मैन मैन का कोई पेरीमेनोपॉज नहीं होता है उनके धीमे धीमे हार्मोन्स नीचे जाते हैं बट फीमेल के केस में क्या होता है दिस इज अ फेज ऑफ स्पीडी एजिंग तो आपका क्या होता है सडन एजिंग हो जाती है 40 टू 50 के बीच में एंड देन इट इज ड्राइड तो वो बहुत सारी लेडीज पेल्विक फ्लोर इश्यूज डेवलप कर लेती है सो वॉट इज पेल्विक फ्लोर पेल्विक फ्लोर प्रोलैप्स हो जाता है दे आर अनेबल टू होल्ड देयर ब्लड और दे आर अनेबल टू होल्ड देयर यूट्रस डॉक्टर बोलता है अच्छा अभी तो आप क्या body is so weak you cannot uh, hold so they will remove the uterus they will do some kind of uh, uh, you know restructuring in the pelvic floor so yeah, all this is yeah. done and it is happening at that time when you are like 45 50 the precaution you should start after 35 so Absolutely. a lot of uh, and as you said not much dialogue is there har koi apne silo mein baitha rehta hai sochta rehta hai ye ho to raha hai mujhe kya ye asliyat hai ya mere dimag mein chal raha hai most of the time people, women are not been aware like they are not aware of it and that's why they are unable to reach out they go to a gynecologist and gynecologist gynecologist is most of the time is like oh you are not going to die with this it's okay it will be okay probably give you hormonal pills like oral uh, hormonal pills if it is something severe but uh, no one is here to guide you how you can uh, manage your hormones well how can you prevent all this wear and tear and hold your youthness who doesn't want to look good yaar yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. yeah right so why we want to get into a place where our body is not uh, in a good shape so yeah but i think as you said lot of dialogue is required <laughs> probably this podcast i'm just trying to summarize everything but it is like lot more for me to tell but uh, yeah <laughs> let's 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 summarize here itself so a lot has to be done in this Absol- absolutely absolutely uh nidhi wonderfully you have answered this that how you know uh, what needs to be taken care at this particular uh, stage because agar abhi control nahi kiya wo baad mein aapko bharna padega uski bharpai to aapko karni padegi if you don't take it pay now or uh, play later or play now right. and pay later to aapko pay to karna hi padega dono hi and I'm, i'm i'm telling abhi to itna jaise knee replacement so pehle knee replacement kuch log karate the 80 mein jate the tab karate the abhi to 55 mein log knee replacement kara rahe so i'm yes. not sure yes. <laughs> ki matlab and people are spending like i don't know like some lakhs 6 7 lakhs for knee replacement uh, please invest in your preventive care like invest some uh, 1 lakh you like and you will get like sorted for life you nothing will happen to you you don't your knees will stay for like another 30 years absolutely so, I, i i'm sure uh, people should uh, realize this absolutely absolutely wow 
what are information uh, nidhi thank you so much for all the valuable information understanding and uh, managing hormonal health is so important for overall well being we just discussed so many uh, points on that and we really appreciate you sharing your expertise with us today uh, nidhi and thanks for taking your time out thank you so much for coming over and you know uh, giving us those insights which we need to hear you know lot of women need to hear that that buddy this is your time you need to you know stand up for your health for yourself yeah, so oh thank, awesome. thank you ma thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity i really want uh, everyone everyone to be aware of it first if yeah. you are aware then probably you can take steps towards it it should not be like you are in your 55 or 60s and then sitting like oh probably i must have like done this or matlab us samay shuru kar diya hota it is uh, it is easy to regret right so Absolutely. let's yeah. let's not go there and uh, take a step i i really i am happy that uh, you have given me this platform where i can put all this information across so thank you ma thank you very much for this all right folks so that's a wrap for today's episode on hormones if you enjoyed this episode please subscribe and drop your comments we will be back with another interesting episode next time until then stay healthy and stay happy